What about the wood platform at one megahertz? In our new setup, measurement setup, the wood will be immediately adjacent to the airplane inside the transmission line. Let's calculate the reflection coefficient for the wood and see if it's better than if we were to have the airplane directly on the ground. We previously determined that the ground is a low loss dielectric. So we can calculate the eta characteristic impedance for wood is 267. And since the characteristic impedance of air is 377 ohms, we can calculate the reflection coefficient for wood is minus 0.17. So about 17% of the wave, the electromagnetic wave, will reflect off of the wood. But if we were to calculate the reflection coefficient for the ground, where we have now, let's compare that with what we get if we were to have the airplane right on the ground. The ground is 10 to the minus 3 for sigma. Uh, mu r is 1 and epsilon r is 10, just to remind you. We also have air that we would compare this with for the for reflection coefficient. Plugging everything in, we get 0.82 at an angle of 179 degrees. So if we compare these two reflection coefficients, Including a wood platform appears to be a lot better than having the airplane rest directly on the ground. And using a wood platform, we could probably obtain an engineering good enough solution that approximates an airplane flying in the air above the ground. One last thing I'll mention is that it would be challenging to make a nice flat and also very large sheet of metal to construct the transmission line out of. Can you think of something else we might be able to use for the transmission line? Still a metal material, but a simpler geometry. Keep in mind what we said earlier, that the EMP primarily interacts with objects or openings that are at least a tenth of a wavelength in size or larger. Anything that is smaller, the EMP won't be able to see. So one tenth of a wavelength varies from 10 centimeters to 30 meters over our frequency of interest, frequency range. Since apertures that are smaller than a wavelength don't influence the propagation of electromagnetic wave propagation, we could use a wire mesh or even uh, metal cables as the walls. Uh, so maybe have a wire cables or like a grid where these dimensions of these openings would be small enough that the EMP would, would see it as a solid wall. So in other words, the walls of the transmission line don't have to be solid. Get out your in-class project notebook and compare the reflection coefficients of the wood and the ground and describe whether it's better to have the airplane elevated above the ground or resting directly on the ground. And also say something about what we can make the walls of the transmission line out of.